Today, we're shooting the Russian SKS. And we're doing that right now. Hi, this is Michael. And Stefan from Sniping Rhino Range. And in today's video, we're shooting the Russian SKS. In previous videos, we've shot the Mosin Nagant rifle, the Mosin Nagant carbine, and the AK-47. So we're pretty excited to give this gun a shot. But first, if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming Homestead related videos. And now before we shoot this, our dad's going to tell you a little bit about this gun. Okay, let's get going. Um, no one wants to hear me talk. So what we have here is a Russian uh, SKS, made in Russia, so it's like the Rolls Royce of SKSs. Uh, shoots a 7.62 by 39, same as the AK-47. Uh, if you saw our Mosin Nagant M44 video, this thing has a folding bayonet, uh, just like that did. It's a knife bayonet though. Uh, which the boys really liked. Um, it has a 10 shot um, attached magazine or internal magazine, but if you need to unload quickly, you can just pop it down like that. Um, the ammo falls out. And it, you load it from the top with either stripper clips or single rounds. Um, now, it does lock back to the rear, and so basically when you have rounds in it, it doesn't lock anymore and it'll go forward. The safety was really weird on this compared to most things we fired is it's down here. For writing it's really easy because you can just you know flip it down. I could see how you could have some accidental discharges doing that um, so you have to be careful and then when you're done you flip it up. For Michael it was really difficult because he had he's a lefty so he would have to swing his finger come down shoot you know, and then pull it back up. So, not near um, as efficient as what he's used to. The sights on it, it shot really well for me. The boys, not having as much experience, did not uh, fire this well compared to most rifles they shoot. Normally, they can hit open sights a uh, couple hundred meters pretty easy, 300 meters, probably half to three quarters of the time. I mean, they couldn't hit the broad side of the barn past 100 yards with this thing. So, um, but up close, they really enjoyed it. And compared to those 5.56 five, with their ARs, I mean, it's the, you know, the 7.62 has some knockdown power. So, let's go show how the boys did. So, let's see how this shoots. <laughs>
you're shooting the 5.56 ammo, this 762 by 39 really hits like a mule kick. And it comes at a cost of literally almost no recoil. So what did we dislike about this rifle? I didn't like that it was difficult for the safety because it's on the right side of a weapon. So being a lefty, it's kind of hard to operate. What I didn't like is the accuracy. Normally, on open sights, I'm effective out to about 300 yards. I don't know if it's just me, but I could not hit that 130 to save my life. Seriously, if I if my life depended on it, I would be dead. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button and leave a comment. Also, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming homestead related videos. This is Michael. And Stefan from Sniping Rhino Ranch. Signing off.